I'd like to tell you now how to measure the control pause. Now the control pause was Buteyko's way of measuring your rate of breathing. And it also correlated with the amount of carbon dioxide in the lungs. This is very easy to do. All you're going to require is a stopwatch, which is either a kitchen timer or else the second hand on a watch. You will sit quietly, make yourself comfortable, establish a quiet normal breathing rate through the nose. And when ready, take a gentle breath in through the nose, a gentle breath out and then hold the nose. Start the clock at that point, the stopwatch or the clock at that point, and hold your breath for as long as comfortable. When you feel you want to breathe, release the nose and stop the stopwatch. Measure the time of your breath hold. This is the maximum comfortable breath hold. The test is that when you do breathe in, it'll be just with one breath and you won't need two or three breaths to get back to normal breathing. So, I shall demonstrate it now, but I can't actually talk while I was demonstrating it, so here we go. Now I purposely release there fairly early. Most people, if they have a breathing problem, will find the measure will be 20 seconds or under. Practically every asthmatic will have a control pause to start with of 15, 12 or even 10. When you're breathing healthily and correctly, this measure, this control pause, will rise above 20 into the 30s, 40s, 50s and even higher. But it will, if done correctly, always give you a good measure and a fairly accurate measure of your rate of breathing. And for asthmatics this is very important. It also indicates how, Ill, how will, well or how ill they are at any stage from day to day and at any time during the day. So, recapping again. It's a gentle breath in through the nose, a gentle breath out, hold the nose, then hold your breath as long as comfortable. When you feel you want to breathe, release the nose and measure how long this duration was. This is called the control pause.